What's up guys, Shane here from Team COG coming at you with a Mathmic combo video. So I took this to our last locals and I got a little bit familiar familiarized with the deck again and it's still pretty damn good. Uh, uh, it, it has just the same basic plays, but let's move into that. But no, no reason to beat around the bush. Uh, we'll start with the very basic one. Uh, you're going to want a Nabla and any of the three that special summon. So either subtraction, addition, or sigma. And you'll want any of these in your hand or uh, Balancer Lord works as well. So you'll need any of those cards in your hand for this to for you to be able to pull off this combo uh, uninterrupted so this is probably the most fa fragile but the quickest combo you could probably do so by now you should probably have baited anything your opponent wants to stop you with and you're trying to just go into sigma you're going second of course so you're trying to go into final sigma and this is probably the quickest and most effective way to do so. So you'll just normal summon the Nabla, then depending on whichever one you have in hand, you have addition, subtraction, or sigma, you will summon one of them. Uh, we'll just do addition. So addition increases your Nabla by a thousand, that doesn't really matter too much. And then you'll use the Nabla's effect to sack off the addition, sending that to grave. And then the card you'll want to summon out in order to finish this simple combo, uh, just to get final sigma out, is summoning Mathematic Multiplication. Uh, once you have Multiplication out, you use the effect of Multiplication to change either Nabla or Multiplication's level, and you can summon uh, final sigma immediately. So you'll just synchro there using those two once you use Mathematic's ability to change the level. And you've got a final sigma. Uh, Nabla and multiplications effects will then trigger, targeting final sigma. So final sigma can now attack twice on a monster, and he now becomes also 6,000. So that's basically your general OTK if your opponent has a couple monsters on board. Um, if you need to add a little more, more damage, you can see what else you have in hand. Uh, or you can have the spell card. Spell card is really good for finishing off your opponent. Uh, only thing is if, yeah, just quickly note that the best card to probably send off of it is Division, as you'll be able to cut your opponent's monster in half, as well as boost your own by another 15. So pretty much you'll be able to finish any duel really quickly just by using the Billion Blade, Final Sigma with that combo, and ditching the Division. Um, if you weren't able to do, yeah, pretty much that's your best battle ability you can get from ditching with Nayuda after the end of this combo because that's the last uh, damage uh, multiplication division that's your last damage modifying card in the deck after you use that combo so that's just where you're gonna go with that obviously um, it's really quick OTK and as long as your opponent doesn't stop it you're set um, sometimes your opponent will stop it and that's just how it has to go, I guess. Uh, then, moving on to more complicated combos, there is the... Basically, you most of your combos are just different variations of what you just saw with the Nabla, um, sacking off cards, but you can also do the Wicked combo. So, this is a combo using any of your special summon monsters, all you have to do is get two Cybers monsters on board in order for this to resolve. So in this situation, which is the best case scenario, um, we'll start with a Balancer Lord. Balancer Lord effect to normal summon, uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, this won't lock you into Cybers because of Balancer Lord's effect, but you're not really playing any Cybers anymore, or non-Cybers anymore. You can play Boral Load right now. Uh, if you see Balancer Lord, it's your best opportunity to summon Borlode, but really, uh, you're not really playing Borlode anymore. 
uh, you can run the ad administers instead and then you won't you'll always be able to summon those uh, so I'm running one light dragon and one link Garibo so but moving on balance the Lord effect additional normal summon uh, in the best case scenario scenario Nabla would be your additional normal summon just because uh, Nabla is really good uh, if you don't have Nabla do not normal summon another one of these activate his effect but do not use it right away so say you summon subtraction special summon the subtraction by reducing the balancer lord and do not use the additional normal summon right away because you will need it later if you are not able to have the nablet in hand already so with the additional normal summon ability activated uh, send the balancer lord to the graveyard to summon the link disciple link disciple and then you link off the other monster you have and summon link devotee then you will use the effect of link disciple to sack off the devotee and draw a card uh, we're not going to draw a card just know that you draw a card and then the important effect is the devotee's effect when tributed to summon two tokens so we'll summon these two uh, after that, just remember, you do not um, get to summon monsters that are link 3 or higher anymore because of Devotee's restriction. So just remember that before you try and go into any link plays or anything like that. So next we'll link off the token and the disciple. And you will summon Cyber's Wicked. Wicked's pretty fucking wicked. So, once you... he First of all, he says it cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. And Cyber's monsters that the, it points to cannot be destroyed by card effects. So, you'll link off one more. You're not going to really keep him around very much, but it is pretty cool. And for the next card, you can either go Link Garibo, Link Garibo, or Link Karibo. Link Karibo. Hard, it's hard to say. Uh, Link Karibo or Link Lingaribo. Um, so just based on if you're playing a trap deck or not, that's basically all you're going to need. Also, if you get stuck with a level four or lower instead of a uh, level one, but the uh, tokens are level one, so shouldn't have that problem. In this situation, we're gonna go Link Karibo. Uh, we're just gonna say they don't have a lot of traps. So once that is good, Link or Cyber's Wicked will activate. Banishing a Cyber's Monster to Search and Special Summon. So you're going to grab a Nabla out of deck if you didn't have one in hand already. Otherwise, just add whatever Cyber's you want. And then Balancer Lord Effect will actually trigger. Best case scenario, Balancer Lord's Effect will actually trigger uh, summoning the Nabla from your hand. Uh, if you don't already have the Nabla in hand, I recommend searching Sigma, as Sigma will be the most useful and only other tuner you can search besides Nabla, uh, in which case Sigma is just a good play extender anyway, uh, unless you used him any already this turn, but he's still pretty good to have in hand for a backup play in case all goes to shit. It all goes to shit. So then you will use Nabla's effect again, tributing off the Cyber's Wicked from the extra monster zone. You have that's very important to make sure you tribute off that card specifically, because if you do not, you screw over your final sigma. So then you'll summon out multiplication. Multiplication effect, you'll just go back into and summon the Nabla. If you were wanting to play Boral Load Dragon right now, um you cannot because of the subtraction. However, if you had used, if you start with Nabla in hand, you will be able to normal summon again, in which case you will not have to use that effect that locks you into Cyverse. So you would be able to go into Boar Load right now, but we're not because of the fact that uh, we used it already. So multiplication effect, make himself a level 8, Synchro 12. And then we have a final Sigma and only Karibo. Link Karibo is kind of in sub, sub he doesn't really matter. Uh, just because of the fact that Link Karibo 
he can stop an attack. Basically, you're going to be tributing him off when they attack him because your Geomath mech's just kind of weak or way too strong to go over, and he's unaffected by cutter effects other than math mechs. So that's kind of just how it is. Um, another way to go about things is if you end up with no tuners in hand, you basically run through that in order to get to a tuner so you can summon Final Sigma. Um, always remember that Nayuda has two effects. During battle he can send, but if this card is sent from grave, even if it was equipped to something and then that something is used as a material. So say I, during the combo we equipped it to Balancer Lord and we have to discard at some point, so we discard division, or addition or subtraction. So we have, so we'll do addition. Uh, so get rid of this real quick. Additions discarded through a card effect because we had to do it, say, for Cynet Mining. Uh, discard the Math Mech, uh, Summon Balancer Lord. So search Balancer Lord, Summon Balancer Lord, equipped with Nayuda. Uh, Balancer Lord uses effect, of course, just in case you need it later. Uh, you're not assuming, I'm not assuming any cards in hand, but a thousand, attack, thousand HP for uh, an additional normal summon is pretty good. So link off. Nayuda will go to grave, and after Nayuda goes to grave, you will summon your monster, of course. Summon out the Disciple. Nayuda will trigger Engrave, adding back the uh, addition to hand. So you get the addition back to hand. So it kind of nulligates the cost. However, you won't be able to use the Equip spell. So that's just something to keep in mind if you end up with two in hand. It is a good resource extender in order to get your monsters back in hand. So that's just always a good thing to keep in mind. Uh, especially for this combo, because the more resources you can get into it, the better the combo really ends up. Um, the next few combos are going to be variations. Uh, however, there is one of, it's going to be a variation of the last combo. However, it's going to be using spice that I specifically play in the deck. So, you've got... Either Dragon Shrine, Distrudo, or Foolish Burial. We'll just leave it at this because we're not worrying about Foolish Burial right now. You play Foolish Burial in the deck anyway in order to Foolish this Sigma, which can summon from Graveyard. Um, yeah, pretty much. That's your best bet. Um, so in this situation, you're going through the same combo. So we'll get to the point where you know... We'll get to the same point as it was previously. This time we won't use the Balancer Lord as it'll just kind of be overkill at this point. Uh, we'll say we open Sigma Subtraction. Special Summon Sigma, because you don't, at this point you do not control anything in the extra monster zone. Special Summon Subtraction, reducing Sigma to zero. You'll link off the Subtraction Disciple, link off the Sigma, Devotee, uh, Effect of Disciple, draw your card, uh, summon two tokens. So, you link off one of your tokens to make the Deci er, the Wicked, and you have just the one token left, and then this is where you activate the spell or Distrudo in your hand. So, Dragon Shrine, sending the Distrudo. Distrudo will then target the token, special summoning itself. And at this point, it really varies. If you have, at this point, if you have used anything, like in this current situation, you use the Sigma and the Subtraction, so you've locked yourself into Cybers. However, if you saw the Balancer Lord and another monster and used it as a normal, used its normal summon, you will be able to summon anything you want right now. So, there's three options, or two options, there's three options if you didn't go 
if you didn't go the Cyverse only route, and there's still two options if you did. So you'll have more of a first turn. What you're trying to go for is the F8 on Dragster. So if you use the Balancer Lord plus a normal summon, plus utilizing its additional normal summon, this is where you'll end up, is you'll synchro off and you'll summon the F.A. Drop Don Dragster, trigger, tri triggering the Wicked combo again, and going through the ability to summon the Nabla by banishing the Balancer Lord. So after you balance, banish, search the Wicked, you search the Don, you search the Nabla, banishing the Don Dra or the Balancer Lord, special summoning the Nabla. Uh, then you have the Don Dragster, and you contribute off and go into your final Sigma. However, also, God damn it, you can go if you've locked yourself into Cybers. There's two other monsters you can do. Uh, there is. Wind Pegasus, adding Nister, which if you're dealing with somebody with a little bit of back row, this is a good card to go into, as well as uh, Cyverse Quantum Dragon. So, and because of the new master rules, you can summon them anywhere. Uh, do not do that. You need to summon it to an arrow in order to trigger Wicked's effect. So, summoning Wind Pegasus, adding Nister, or Cyverse Quantum Dragon. Uh, adding Nister is actually super generic and he'll pop one spell as soon as he hits the field. So if you're dealing with some kind of floodgate or something, that's a pretty good card to go for. Uh, if you're dealing with a floodgate though, you probably won't be able to summon him in the first time, first, first place. But if there's something you really need to get off the board, that's a really good card to go for. Or there's Cyber's Quantum Dragon. Quantum Dragon is really good spot removal for your opponent's monsters. If you're breaking a board, Quantum Dragon is definitely the way to go in my opinion. Um, you're usually just going for Nabla and then tribute off quick quick final Sigma Sigma to finish this fucking game. Uh, pardon my French. But uh, you're just trying to quickly end the game. You're not trying to mess around. You're not trying to stall for time or nothing. You're just trying to OTK and finish the game. So usually you're going to go Nabla, tribute off whatever, Cyverse. You're not usually going full combo. The only situation where you're going full combo is if you didn't see a Nabla, uh, which is which does happen. Obviously, this is that's where you need to know this combo. Uh, 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 uh. Which is where you need to know this combo. So this just makes a little bit bigger of a board in reality, but it will not exactly do as good. It's much more fragile um, if you get hand trapped on any of these combos really you're kind of SOL uh, there's a few things you can do based on what your hand traps are usually you're going into this after getting stopped maybe doing during the Nabla combo just remember that uh, Nabla does tribute its costs so another good way to get around certain card effects like effect Valor or infinite impermanence is to actually tribute the Nabla if you're in a situation where you can afford to such as uh, tributing the Nabla to summon Sigma after already having a multiplication on board somehow, maybe from the last turn. There's not a lot of situations where you're set by tributing the Nabla, uh, unless you have a Sigma and a Nabla, you tribute the Nabla and summon the multiplication, so you still have your Sync 12 right there. Um, but yeah, that's basically the combos. We'll do some quick test hands without interruption, obviously, because I'm not playing here with anyone. But we'll do some quick test hands, and then we will send you guys to go learn the deck on your own. If you're wanting, wondering anything about the Fissure Dragon Fissure, it's definitely not standard. Um, it's very much some little spice that I came up with. It's pretty decent, but you can brick on it obviously I kind of have this deck just to mess around with more than anything so it's kind of how the deck is in my opinion I don't have a lot of the I have the stuff to make it good but I don't really I, I enjoy the deck as is uh, I don't plan on taking it to any large tournaments but it, it, it does its due diligence at locals so 
I'm happy with that. And it's always fun to Dragon's Fissure somebody when they least expect it, and this deck is when they would least expect it. It allows me to put out a few negates, so that's good enough for me. Blossom, Balancer Lord, Sigma, Distrudo, Ash Blossom. Well, we've already got pretty bad hand. Uh, let's see. Two Ash Blossom, a Balancer Lord, a Sigma, a Distrudo, and another Ash Blossom. Let's play this going first. We'll summon Balancer Lord. Balancer Lord effect for additional normal summon. Normal summon the Sigma. Uh, link off the Sigma. Er, shit. Hmm. Well, oh well. We'll link off the Sigma. Disciple. Link off the Balancer Lord. Devotee. Uh, effect of Disciple to tribute the devotee. Draw your card. Uh, we'll put the division back on the bottom because it's almost better to have two Ash Blossoms. And then Disciple's effect. Or Devotee's effect will summon two tokens. We'll link off the Disciple and the token. Or wicked. Uh, now you have the level one, you'll activate the Dif Distrudo. Distrudo will link with, will synchro summon with the level one. Distrudo will go on the bottom of the deck. Then you can go into whichever one you want. Right now, we are actually able to go into the Dawn Dragster. So since we're going first, that's what we're going to do. Summon him right there. Uh, effect of Wicked to banish the Balancer Lord and search the Nabla. Uh, Balancer Lord triggers special summoning a Cyrus from hand. Special summon the Nabla. Nabla's effect to tribute the Wicked. Tributing the Wicked to summon the Multiplication. Multiplication effect to change the level. Uh, this is where if you were playing Borolo Dragon, you are actually free to go into the Borolo Dragon. So if you don't use the Multiplications effect, uh, also you might want to summon something else like Division or something. but. If you do not use the multiplications effect here, uh, you can sync level 8. And since we haven't used anything that locks you into the Cybers archetype, you could actually summon the Borlode Savage Dragon right now. So if that's one of the reasons that I recommend playing it. Um, you'll end up with two negates, which is really quite decent. Uh, I would say that that's pretty decent for what you would have. Uh, you'll be able to equip the Wicked, which gives you two negates. So, yeah, that's that's up to you guys whether you play that or not. I was until quite recently. Uh, I just wanted to sell it and get it off my hands. But right now we're going to synchro into our big boss boy. Final Sigma. This is first turn. So the, the effects of Nabla and Multiplication will trigger, making him 6,000 and able to attack twice. But we don't even have a battle phase. So... That really doesn't matter. Finally, uh, what you end with is a F.A. Dawn Dragster. Uh, summon the final Sigma over here so that the Dawn Dragster, you don't give uh, Math Mech people just free cards. So, final Sigma and F.A. Dawn Dragster. And you have two Ash Blossoms in hand, which not really super useful, but I am sure you smart people could figure out a way to use the two Ash Blossoms. Um, moving on.
shuffling up real quick. We'll do one more test hand and then we'll call it at a good time. Oh, we've got Pot of Desires, Sigma, Cyanet Mining, Sigma, wow, Multiplication, Cyanet Mining first, discarding the Sigma because we'll be able to use the Sigma later, and then we will search, oh, we need to draw our last pathetic card because we are going second in this hand, so addition. That's not bad. Um, we will go and we will search the Avala with Cyanet Mining. If you were worried about your opponent having an Ash Blossom or something like that, I would suggest going to Zyres first, just because um, it's a really good bait. So, Pot of Desires real quick, since we don't have anything we're worried about in the deck. We already have full combo. Not a big loss. Um, Desires first, in my opinion. Uh, I'm just didn't since this is a playtest hand. I'm not worried about getting ashed. Um, but I would use Desires first because you want the Cyanet mining to resolve, and there's next to no chance that you would banish all your Nablas in one in one. Desires, so you're pretty safe there. Uh, like in this situation, I didn't actually banish any Nablas. Banished the last Ash Blossom in all my uh, equations, but I did not banish any Nablas. So Desires will resolve. And another addition, and another addition. That's crazy. Um, moving on. Nabla. Uh, we will special summon the Sigma. Nabla effect to tribute the Sigma. Uh, Sigma's banished as it used its effect this turn to summon multiplication. Multiplication's effect. Synchro, level 12. Final Sigma. And it's simple as that. Um, you have addition now, so uh, Nabla and Multiplication will trigger, making it 6,000 and they will attack your opponent's monsters twice. Uh, activate addition, it gains another 1,000, making it 7,000. And you're pretty, pretty well off. Um, next turn, you could even end with a, another Final Sigma if they manage, if you didn't end up outing their first one. If they do end up outing the first one and you don't manage to kill them with 7k that does double damage. Um, but you're safe. You've summoned only four times by the time you get here. Um, if they... So you've got your one summon, two summon, three summon, four summon, five summon. So by the time you hit addition, you're at your fifth summon and you're safe from Nibiru, to be honest because Sigma is unaffected by ma cards that aren't Mathemex. So as long as you keep that in mind, you're good to go. Um, one way that they can out your final Sigmas is you have to understand that Mathemex cards can be affected by other Mathemex cards. Doesn't matter if they're yours or your opponent's. So if they go into that XYZ monster, they can out your final Sigma using that monster. Or they can just fucking Kaiju you. Um, <laughs> Kaijus are always the bane of any deck with a super boss monster's existence, and you have to be on edge for those. Uh, that's why you're playing ka kaijus, just to be edgy. Um, as far as that, that's basically, the, the deck's very simple. Uh, I recommend it for anybody who's getting back into the game. Um, you're not really changing much with the new master rules, so it'll be good solid for the next few months. Math, math mix, I get my seal of approval, I guess, um, for the beginners. Beginner seal of approval, yep. Uh, it's a very simple deck. The combos are simple. Uh, it has a higher ceiling than some combo, some com or simple decks, but the basic combos are super powerful and super hard for your opponent to read onto until like, the next game. Uh, you usually will be able to resolve summoning stuff like that, 
Um, I've gotten a lot of people just because they don't know where I'm going with the uh, synchro summon, really. So they'll let it go and they'll try to like, they'll try to stop the big guy, not understanding that he's unaffected by card effects. So I've won a lot of games like that. But uh, once the cat's out of the bag, so to speak, you've got to be a little bit more on your edge about playing the cards, and you got to be just a little bit more effective, I guess, is what I'm tr trying to say. Uh, as long as you play your cards right, you should get quite a few wins with this deck. I do not recommend this really for regional levels or anything like that. You might be able to luck out a few things, but as soon as but good players will be able to figure out how the cards work, and it's a pretty easy deck to stop. But for locals, I highly recommend it, especially if you're a new player. So, this has been Shane from Team COG. I hope to see you guys in the future. Um, keep checking the channel. I w should have a budget-ish Dark Magician deck profile. Um, I've been trying to work on that. Uh, I finally got my Soul Servants, but Magician Souls, as everybody knows, is ridiculously expensive. So, I will not be having any Magician Souls in that. So if you are actually interested in that, stay tuned. But moving on, past turn.